Extortion ended in tragedy for a Utah family, and tonight they're warning other moms and dads out there it could happen to their own kids. It was part of a safety training put on by the Weber County Sheriff's Office. New specialist Andrew Adams was there and talked to the speakers. Andrew? Well, a family lost their son in January as the extortionists were ratcheting up the pressure on him. They have a message they want every family to hear. Your kids need to know this information, that there are people out there doing this. In a meeting where cameras weren't invited, it was a frank discussion about a teen who could have come from any of the families here. We were like, well, we never heard of this. 15-year-old David Antonio Gonzalez Jr. was a smiling, polite, kind kid who loves sports. And he was a natural athlete when it came to that. And then one day in January, his online life took a turn. So it's an app called Wiz, and a person who was imitating a young girl met him there. The stepdad says David was lured across multiple platforms, including Instagram, text, and ultimately Snapchat, into sending a compromising pic. They were trying to get him to pay 200 bucks. And when the extortionist threatened to tell all of his followers, including family members. That's when he decided to go ahead and take his own life to end that situation, so. The family is now teamed with the Weber County Sheriff's Office to share a cautionary tale to all parents. I think the most important thing is for kids to understand that if this does happen to them, it's not the end of the world. Law enforcement says scammers are increasingly using artificial intelligence technology to enhance the realism. And it's important that kids tell a trusted adult when something doesn't seem right. They're being hunted by predators for this purpose of just money. This stepdad hopes other families can avoid the tragedy that happened to his. We can stop these people from continuing on with this business because it's a bad business. Well, that case is still under investigation. Law enforcement says not only are predators hanging out on more established social media platforms like Instagram and Snapchat, but also online gaming forums. Think Roblox or Fortnite. The predators are hanging out there too. Thank you. What a heartbreaking case. Andrew, thanks.